I'm back. Uh, a bit full of hay fever, hence why the face is puffy plus ridiculous pregnancy. Um, but yeah, here's Neil, Hello. my husband. Um, he isn't here with um, like under duress. Well, you are a little bit, but he's being very good, what probably doing? because I'm so pregnant. Put in. What are we doing? We're on the internet, darling. Oh, okay. Yeah, that thing. All right, bump watch for those who are interested. It's here. Look, it's big as my head. Probably bigger, but yeah. She's huge. Um, so, yeah. Um, we will be finding out tomorrow um, when... She's going to be due, sorry. Uh, we're going to be finding out tomorrow when our C-section is. Um, so, hopefully, she might even be here in four weeks. Uh, which means that my next live will feature the newborn. So, she will be on the internet <laughs> straight away. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, so this evening... Uh, I have dragged Neil here um, from his place on the sofa, which is where he is yeah, now. No, normally here. Normally there. Today. And I'm normally over here. Here. But we're here because of camera angles and stuff, so we have to sit next to each other. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't normally sit next to each other. No, we no. don't. Um, so, <laughs> we're here tonight to talk about dad's baby wearing and why dad's baby wearing is so awesome and important and everything like that and I thought rather than it being me lecturing you all about it why not get a baby wearing dad involved and it just so happens that I live with one um, so that's quite useful really um, so first of all I was going to say something else but I've forgotten no, it's gone out of my head. Um, thrilling for everyone. Uh, oh, Emma's here. Vicky's there. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Anna. Um, Have I met these people? So you've met Vicky. Oh, okay. I think you've met Emma as well. Doesn't matter. Um, so uh, we're going to have a quick chat about baby wearing, about what Neil likes about it, what Neil doesn't like about it. Oh, Lorna's there as well. Hello, Lorna. Um, what Neil likes about it, what he doesn't like about it, what carriers he likes, what carriers he doesn't like, and why. Um, we're talking about um, some myths around dad's baby wearing um, and things like that. Um, then I'm going to throw Neil in the deep end and really test him um, by giving him um, our stretchy wrap and asking him to wrap a newborn doll. Um, and he hasn't wrapped a newborn in a stretchy for two years. Um, oh, Vicky said, hi Neil, we did the colour run together with Lou. There you go, there you go. I remember now. There we are. Um, um, lost my train of thought. Stretchy wrap. Two stretchy. Years. And then he's going to be stretchy. It's been two years since he's done one, and I haven't let him have a go. <laughs> so we'll see how much he remembers. Um, I'll try not to embarrass him live on the internet, but you know. Best than you. <sighs> yes, dear. Um, <laughs> and then um, afterwards, uh, we'll be taking your questions um, about dad's baby wearing and things like that. And we will also be mentioning our very, very exciting Father's Day competition that will be launching on Friday. Um, and the winner will be announced on Sunday. So do stay tuned for that. Note how I've kept the competition till the very end to make sure you all keep watching, okay? Not just a hat rack, my friends, not just a hat rack. Okay, cool, so dad's baby wearing. You all know my baby wearing story in that we started, uh, oh, Lindsay's there as well, hi Lindsay. Um, we started uh, when Dexter was 12 days old and the picture that I used for this live to advertise it, that is the picture from that consultation of Neil wearing 12 day old Dexter in the stretchy wrap. Um, so I don't know how much you can remember of the consultation, if anything, because we were in the newborn phase. I tell you what. I tell you what. I do remember mm. is Jess squeeing at a baby wearing dad. So I think it's it's almost common. Well, no, it's very common for baby wearing dads to get lots of kudos. Mm. Jess was just looking at me, going, "Yeah, baby wearing dads are good." Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, baby wearing dads are brilliant. Um, and obviously, we started off with the stretchy. Um, how did you find the stretchy? You see, it's, first of all, I thought uh, we were offered stretches and buckles and. Instantly, I thought our oh, buckles are a lot easier. Then I actually realised that they don't, they're a bit big and Dexter got lost in it. And I found that the stretchy, after just learning it for about five, you know, using it once or twice, wasn't actually that difficult to put on. 
and mm. it was easy to get baby up and down in and baby was all snug and close and I remember quite a lot actually going to the local shop down the corner wearing him and just getting all the attention from uh, other people just saying oh is a dad wearing his baby yeah and yeah I found that I found that yeah the buckles from that for especially when they're a newborn kind of swamped the baby a bit and didn't feel safe probably the wrong word but didn't feel comfortable and yeah I was always kind of jealous of especially some breastfeeding mothers they get the close sort of cut the time with the baby on them and as a dad obviously it's you're limited to cuddling limited to cuddling mm. but being able to have him strapped in all close was um, it kind of I got that bit of skin sort of oxytocin hit from that so it's not just reserved the the cuddly snuggles are not just reserved for for the mums yeah sorry if I am moving it's because oh yeah sorry uh, the, one of the cats turned, turned up, up. Um, <laughs> so yeah that was Link um, Zelda is out and about but yeah um, cool so um, you found the stretchy used it um, buckles. Because we did move on to buckles, didn't straight, we? Straight from stretchy to buckles. Yeah, straight from stretchy to buckles. We moved on to a connector. Um, obviously, I went to the library and I picked it out because it was Deathly Hallows. Yeah. Um, it was the pink Deathly Hallows one we've got in the library that um, Jess chose. Um, he doesn't. He's not into Harry Potter at all. Um, but it was bright pink, so I just wanted to double check with him that he was okay with wearing a, our son in a bright pink carrier. And Neil's not bothered about those kind of things, which is fantastic. So I'm now being attacked by the cat. I'm the cat's now attacking out. you, okay. Well, stop winding him up. I'm not. Um, I remember so actually, thankfully Neil's not bothered about that. But um, The buckle carrier yeah. was the one we took to Disney, uh, took Dexter to Disney in. No, that was our own red one. That was a red one. That okay. wasn't a pink one. But it was still a buckle, deathly hallowed it was, carrier. It was a connector, yeah. yeah. Um, so something that I find quite often when um, mums come to the library on their own and have a concert on their own, is the the number one of the one things that they really really want all the time is a carrier that my husband will wear, and it you know it's wonderful that the dads want that they want their husbands to baby wear, but don't let that exclude you from all the pretty patterns and the loveliness because they will wear bright pink carriers and it's fine. Um, although I did have one dad complain that the carrier was the wrong shade of blue. Um, for him, so there's just no pleasing some people. Is it football related? Mm. No, mm. no, okay. no. I, I could understand that fully. <laughs> um, okay, so how did you find moving on to the buckled carrier then and learning to use the buckles? See, I like the buckled carriers because it was quick and sim it was quick and simple. So especially now I still use, um, I'll be at the toddler size connector, the fact that I could literally just click, click, click Pull the top, pull the uh, the straps closed, and then I was done. Um, I'm very much into the sort of uh, function over form. I'm generally like that anyway with things. I sort of found it um, whilst sort of stretches and wovens and that lot aren't a faff. I just found it much easier to pick pick him up like Dexter at the car seat. We were going somewhere, and just the throw up ability. <laughs> Almost to um, not vomiting. No, um, picking up, but picking up literally, baby, <laughs> don't click, 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 and. That was it, really. And I sort of found the, the function of it more attractive than... And that's why I didn't worry about the patterns so much. Is It was more the sort of the ease of putting it on. Because if something... I think um, like my sister's uh, fiancé is the same. He was more interested in the buckles because he didn't want to faff. And I think that kind of attracted me more as a man to less faff. Mm. But now I know and I've seen the Zan wrap, then there's actually no diff There's no faff in doing anything else. But my preference is buckles simply because that's what I moved on to straight from stretchies and I, I find them comfortable. You know, they fit me, they're convenient, they fold up nicely and I've got a Star Wars one so why would I want anything else? Yeah, he's very, very excited that his new carrier for Trixie is it? Star Wars. Yeah, go get okay. it, go get okay. it. Um, um, I was going to say something else. This pregnancy is ruining my brain completely. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Star Wars. So there's his that. Star Wars carrier. And oh no, it's reversed because we're using the reverse camera on my phone. But yeah. Why aren't we on the it ceiling can't. then? It won't work. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, that's I, his new Star Wars carrier for Trixie. Amazing, um, but yeah. Oh, I remember what I was going to ask you. Um, so you've tried a stretchy, you've tried a connector, <laughs> uh, we've covered those. What other 
carriers have you tried? I think I remember this because obviously we we got the the connector started before you were in uh, before you were involved in the library. Yeah. So obviously we didn't have this complete cacophony of of things to try. But hundred um, slings. Hundreds, just one or two. Um, <laughs> an ergo ergo, uh, ergo three sixty. Yeah, think. it was the Omni. The Omni three sixty. Yeah, because we were sent that two weeks early. Um, by Ergo Baby. That was it. Um, and we took it on holiday to Devon. We to took try it to your out. parents' place, and that was the, I think the first time I wore Dexter outward facing. One of the first times, yeah. Yeah, and I found it. We walked around a local farmers market, and I felt it. Was, it felt weird to start with, sort of feeling, because normally when like when Baby was when Dexter was on me, sort of facing this way, he was all sort of strapped and cuddly. But when he was sort of facing out and sort of, it was I don't know. He seemed to enjoy it. I I found it. I found it quite fun actually. He always went nuts whenever we faced him outwards. It was hilarious. He had all his limbs flailing because he was so excited. And it was like he thought he was flying or something. But what I found with the, um, well, with any of the outward facing carriers. That's my sister, look. Yeah, I know your sister's saying hello. Hi, Jo! Just talked about you. Um, <laughs> um, I personally always found that with facing outwards, my boobs got in the way. Whereas inward facing, it was brilliant because he'd always just curve around my boobs really nicely. Um, but outward facing, my boobs bent his spine the wrong way and we could never get really comfy. But outward facing on you... Um, it worked for me because... It really worked because he doesn't have boobs. Um, so it's because he's got a nice flat chest. Um, like, the outward facing always worked. And that does seem to be a common thing um, with dads, is that they find outward facing carriers um, a lot more comfortable than women do because they don't have boobs. Um, which is the main reason why a lot of dads also find baby Bjorns comfortable and women don't. Um, it's because men don't have boobs. See, I remember my outward but, facing yeah. or Dexter's outward facing journey was short because obviously outward facing head is here. Yes. And baby grows and I got sick and tired of being headbutted. And then I think yeah. there was a time when I couldn't actually see because his head was up there. <laughs> yeah. And you just have to keep looking over it. Well, he's got hair now, so. I'm going to keep just looking around the side. Looking around the side. So yeah. then. Uh, Lizanne taught me how to um, sling him on the back using a connector. Yeah. Um, I think the football was the first time I did it properly because obviously. Yeah. Yeah, it was at the stadium. We um, Dexter comes to the football uh, with us most of the time, unless it's an evening game. And you can imagine with the crowd, it's quite daunting for for a little person. So we often um, often carry him, and he loves it, especially when say he's slung on the back. Um, he can see what's going on. I mean, not in the stadium. In the stadium, he sits down and behaves himself and cheers for the correct team. Um, but we found that it kind of it helped him, especially when he was younger, just kind of get away from the overwhelming experience so he could sort of peek out and then get a little bit... When he got overwhelmed, he could turn back in again. And that was one. That was a big thing, actually, the fact um, I don't think I could cope as well taking a toddler to the football if I didn't have a carrier with me because it was sort of an instant... If he was getting a bit upset or a bit crotchety, then straight away you could cuddle him in and sort of strap him to you and he wouldn't kick out, flail, plank... Or anything like that, and he felt safe, and he wouldn't run away. Wouldn't run away, and try getting a pram up to the top of the stadium at Brighton. It's 127 steps. I was going to say, yeah, it's 127 steps, but yeah. What's Joe said? Uh, not that he'd admit it, but Liam loves wearing Logan on his back, especially when going around car shows. I never thought I'd get Liam to carry, but pleasantly surprised that he does. Yay! So that's Neil's sister um, and her fiance. They're getting married in September um, in Cyprus, so I get to take lots of slings on holiday. Um, but yeah, they do a lot of car shows, so yeah. yeah we saw a video Getting kids of, on the um, back is amazing. We saw a video of Logan when the car was going round, his little legs going excitedly when a car flew past. Yeah. So. So, um, have I made you try a ring sling before? Uh, you have. You have a couple of times. I have a couple of times. I don't know why. I, it just doesn't. I'm not keen on them, and I can't. Yeah. Expl I can't explain why. I don't. I find that they. I know there's a technique to it. Maybe I've not learned it properly, but the fact that when they bunch up. Or the fact that the ring would always slip, and I just mm. wouldn't find it very, it wouldn't fit very naturally on my body. I don't know that's because I'm a bloke, I don't have boobs, so it doesn't have a natural sort of <laughs> way to go in. But I just found <sighs> it, like, I, it was great the first time it set up, and then as soon as Dexter wanted to back up again, it didn't feel comfortable, and it felt slippery, or, and I felt at an angle, my back would start to hurt. Mm. So maybe I just need a bit of sort of tuition. But I, I just went straight back to my buckles, really, after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did I, have I ever made you try Madai? The tie-on ones that are like connectors. I think so. Yeah. I can't remember. I, I'm I'm a demo, not a demo doll. A demo. I make him try lots know. of stuff, basically. Um, but, so I, yeah. me I remember you, you trying one and going, "How do you feel?" And I go, 
Yes, yeah, not bad, but I prefer the connector. That, well, I'd always like finish that's with things the by thing, saying, yeah. I prefer the connector. Because... But that's the thing, once you've found that carrier that you love, be it a buckle or a woven or a medai or whatever, then you're always going to prefer that over everything else, no matter what you try. Um, but yeah. Right, I've just realised the time. We've been chatting for ages. Um, so I'm going to get the stretchy wrap and a newborn doll and we'll put Neil on the spot and see how much he remembers about wrapping a newborn in a stretchy. Um, so whilst we're doing that, if you've got any questions about for Neil um, about baby wearing as a dad um, or if uh, you're desperately trying to get your other half involved and they keep coming up with reasons and excuses as to why they shouldn't then pop those in and we'll try and debunk those as well um but yeah so if you do that whilst we're uh trying out the stretchy uh then that will be really good fun um cool right i shall move the camera over and then do you well, want to grab the stretchy I'll, I'll, and the I'll, doll? Get, I'll get the things right, okay so come with us on a journey through the living room to the demo space Let's get that so set Dexter's up. Dexter's kitchen. Yeah, it's balanced on Dexter's kitchen with a load of Ergo Baby carriers underneath. There we go. Oh, yeah, Perfect. Right, right, there's Derek. Is that Derek? Right, like, no, I think it's not. <laughs> not quite, look, not you look quite. Like to Derek. Right, let's move this back. So I, get some, I need some room to perform. Yeah. Right. So it's been a couple of years, give or take yeah. a couple of months. What I do remember. I need to be in a little bit. It's my performance space. <laughs> right, so we've got um, yeah, middle marker. Right, first of all, yeah, that's it. Round, round the waist. And then over the opposite shoulder. This is the bit where I always used to roll up my t-shirt and today's no different. <laughs> the on. classic, yeah, classic move. Go. I just realised I'm just standing off camera and it's just the bump you are sticking a, you out. Are the bump. There we go. Right, so I'll make sure it's not tight. There we go. Right, hang on, so this feels good so far. Just yes. turn around, show everyone what you've done on the back. No. Just so people can see. There you go, go around this way. Yeah. So that's I've fine, crossed it fine. I've crossed it over. Okay. Right. There you go. Am I sure it's ridden up? Yeah, no, you're right so far. Yeah, that's perfect. Right. I seem to remember lots of getting rid of slack. So let's get rid of some of that. Feels nice and tight. What's going on here? Doing good, Neil. The bump looks lovely. Yes, thank you. I'm <laughs> very, very proud of it. Not your bump. Right, so Thanks, Caroline. Thank you. There we go. Right, feed it back through here. Yeah. And then they cross over. Yeah, they do cross over again. Yeah, they cross over. You're doing very well, sweetheart. I know. I haven't twisted it yet. This feels slack, so I'm just going to... Right, and then round the back again. Uh -huh. I think you can go around more than once, but I'm just going to go around once, I think. Uh, it, it varies. It depends on how long your wrap is and how thin you are as to how many times you can wrap it around you. This is a shorter wrap, okay? Right, I'll still got to move a bit. This feels a wee bit loose. Let me pull it over there. Yeah. Cool. Right. Before we put baby in, you have tied it correctly. I'm just going to show you how to get rid of the slack properly because that is a common thing um, with people that come to us with stretchies. Um, so you want to gather up the middle band, okay, so that's nice and tight, and then grab it up here and then give it a good tug like that from the top and the bottom and then you can see how much space you've got so you're looking you turn side on to you so you're looking at the volume between your hands and your chest and thinking is that gap big enough for my baby okay um and that is absolutely perfect darling so well done no that's too small now oh sorry you're not gonna fit a baby in there no, i'm trying to do it let me tighten back up again that's a little bit tight maybe that's all right it should be That's too tight now. There you go. Just a little bit. I think loosen it. There we go. That's better. Basically, if it's too loose, baby will be bobbing lower and lower down you. If it's too tight, baby's head will end up in your throat. Um, obviously, you can take baby out and adjust it. That's not a problem. Um, but yeah, it's just getting used to it. Cool. Well done. Come right. On. Next step. On, put Derek. baby in. Right. So head. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right, right, Treat okay. it like a real baby. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Right. So I remember Show the camera. Show the camera. So I think it's this leg first, isn't it? It's the one it's the one that goes on whichever the Whichever one you feel most comfortable. Ah. It doesn't matter which leg you do first. I thought there was a it's one. It's whichever one you feel most comfortable. Yeah. There we 
Okay. But I know. It's... Why have you put the arms up? Uh, it's correct, but but why? Well, because it sort of feels more comfortable, and it's, I, I don't know. It's just I remember doing it from Dexter. I can't remember the reason why. <laughs> but it's just you know because it's cuddly. Hey, that's good. That's good. Okay, okay. That's good. Right. So. Let's sit back a little bit. There we go. So there we go. Okay. So I've got a got a bit of a knot here, or is it the other side? Now I know I need to bring them across. Mhm. Mm I can't remember what side it is. It's this side, isn't it? It depends. You can look underneath. And you can feel which one's going over, which one's going under. Okay. I'll that one's there, going over. There we go. That's the wrong one. Oh, it's all going so well. That's all right. It's still going really well. You haven't dropped the baby. No, that's true. So when you've pulled that over there, you've pulled over the middle mm -hmm. rather than the hem. Ah. So you've pulled it out the knee. And this one's not quite all the way over to the knee. So you just want the hem. Okay. Gotcha. So that the hem goes all the way over to the other knee. Oh, the baby's go. legs are in an M shape. I, I, yeah. I remember that bit. Well done. And it's just the inside hem that goes over. The rest of it stays. Sorry. Yeah. There. You were going for the inside that again. That was the one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You know when you've got it because it just it. freely moves across. Yeah. I remember that much. Lovely. in the knees all the way up to the back of the neck there we go there we go and oh it's a bit cold Whoop, there we go <laughs> yeah we can cover the legs like that but in summer we really don't need to so it's all right right baby's airway how can you clear that can you remember uh well i'll do it the pull over on the old shoulder Aha, uh, yeah. he remembered the shoulder flip there we good go. stuff so, we can flip the shoulder so that baby can still breathe. I know why this so, feels yeah. weird. Dexter always preferred, I know it's not it's having his head, his head this way, looking that way. So that's why I'm like, this feels wonky. <laughs> but I remember now Dexter used to Dexter rest his head prefers the other way. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh, cool. you cut my head off. Never mind. That's move, all right. Move back a bit. There we go. Yeah. That's what I was trying to. Oh. Okay. There, there we go. Yeah. yeah. And then move back. That's perfect. I don't have any nice finishes. You don't, you don't have nice finishes with a stretchy. This is the nice finish with a stretchy. Yeah. And there we go, so yeah, you can... And if he's sleepy, sleepy you can sleepy or put sunny their head in like that. Whatever like that. Hello. Yeah. Close enough to kiss, there you go. Yeah, well done, well done, well remembered. He knows his ticks. I do. Uh, Good. Yeah, and that's it, and it's kind of looking like... And now, nice how do you breastfeed in one? No, I'm joking. I go I'm like, joking. I go like this. <laughs> I ask someone else, so like, hey. Brilliant. Um, can you remember how to get baby out? Same way as baby went in. Hang on. Take that down. Take it. Probably, uh, no. You only you want to keep them in the seat, don't you, a little bit? You haven't dropped baby, so it's fine. Yeah, true. I seem to remember you pulling it to one side and then sort of lifting it out, mm -hmm. not hitting the head on the light. And then, uh, <laughs> Usually helps. Yeah. But yeah. And then one baby. Wicked! Oh, well done, darling. That was brilliant. Bye bye. Good. <laughs> you are allowed to carry it in the hospital then, that's yeah. fine. I wonder if they'll let you wear that during the C-sections, that as soon as she's out... No, I have to wear the... Um, she can go... The, oh, yeah, the, you have the, to wear the scrubs, the don't you? The pink scrubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a little keen last time to get my top off for um, skin, skin to skin. skin. <laughs> you just whipped it off in theatre, didn't you? They were you? like, do you want skin to skin? Whoosh! Okay. Yep. That, that was happened. brilliant. Right, let's go back to the sofa and let's see if we've got any questions yet. For Neil, for the last few minutes. Ah. Uh, but you need to move over. Yeah, Stop sitting in your seat. Um, right, okay, so um, let's have a look back. Um, I was saying how good I am. I know, well, you are good. It was brilliant. Um, from Joe, your sister. Liam gets sweaty kind of quick. What would be the best carrier for him in Cyprus, the connector or a woven? Um, well, the connector um, of it. Sit forward. It looks weird with you nice. back. No, sit forward because it looks weird. Um, Vicky, haha, we have seats too. Oh, God, yeah. Absolutely, you have to. I'm on his deaf side, um, so that really helps because then he can't hear me chatting throughout telly. Uh, so, Joe, woven or connector in Cyprus? Um... The connector will be cooler for him, um, purely because it's just the webbing on the back, um, absolutely, unless 
you get um, a muslin gauze woven wrap, um, in which case that will be super thin, and then he can tie that in hip carries, um, which will barely cover both of them. So, yeah. Uh, Laura said, ring sling for Cyprus. Yeah. I'll be taking a lot of carriers with us to Cyprus, so it's a good job we're taking both children. Um, so, yeah. Because uh, we've got the extra luggage then, and so I can just pack, like, Trixie's bag for the slings. <laughs> Um, which would be great. We've got the luggage so, allowance, yeah. haven't we? Well, exactly, yeah. Um, so Joe has said, Neil, what's a good way to encourage guys to carry? Uh, in, hmm. it's, it's sort of less about encouraging and more about sort of dispelling any sort of myths they have about it. One of them is it's feminine. Mm. I, I don't see that. I don't see that at all. It's, you're always going to pick your baby up, and it's less. It's better to be hands free. You're still cuddling. You're still cuddling the baby. It's very important for baby actually to get the bond with daddy. You know, it's mm, by especially being held. especially in the early in the early days. A bit of skin to skin whilst watching. You know, the World Cup it was the European Cup when Dex was born, but it'd be the World Cup. Yeah, this it was year. the Euros. Yeah. But um, yeah, just it's it's more kind of thing like oh, it's feminine. It's not really because you you want to look after your child. You want to have a bond with your child. Yeah. Um, it's it's a faff. It's not, especially when you can see um, how easy it is to put a stretchy on or buckles. I mean, it's uh, a lot more faffy to sit on the sofa and try and hold your child in one arm and eat with the other mm. than it would be to sit there with a carrier on and have both hands free so you can eat and have a drink at the same time. Case in point, when we were when we're in Disney at a restaurant, I had Dexter asleep on me whilst eating a burrito. Yeah. Which was um, yeah, good for and the, because it was the connector had the hood, yeah, had the so he didn't need to worry about dropping burrito on his head. So it was fine. Now I hear that a lot from clients um, that their husbands won't do it um, because they think it's feminine um, and things like that. And I do, like Neil said, I always bring up the point of well, do they hold the baby? And they're always like, oh yeah, yeah, no, they hold them all the time. And it's like, well, why don't you just use a carrier? Then you get your hands free. Um, you used to, because I used to go to bed at seven and you used to stay up with him mm -hmm. um, in the evenings and um, you used to wear him and just sit there and play video games all evening. Pretty much. And as far as Dexter was concerned, he was being held because he was in the carrier, but Neil had both hands free so he could play, what did you have at the time? PlayStation next? No, it was, um, it was, it was, it it was Star Wars. I actually had my laptop and a mouse. Oh, it was. It was a laptop and mouse. There yeah. you go. You're playing back with Battlefront. Star, battle Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, um, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah, so it's, it's feminine. Well, it's not. I mean, yeah, there are there are some pattern ones, but there are also some equally plain ones and Star Wars ones, and there's pretty much something, you know, there's there's a pattern for all of you, for everyone. Oh, yeah, there's so, something for everyone. Absolutely. So you can yeah, you, they are girly ones ones that i'm not particularly interested in wearing but there's also ones... like my rainbow unicorn ones yeah well the thing is i, I would wear it if well i know i know it. yeah but yeah it's it's not a faff and do you tell you what is a faff trying to push a pram around a tiny tiny supermarket <laughs> um i do feel sorry for people especially when dex was younger um trying to sort of navigate their way around and there's me sailing in with um you know my bag for life and child strapped to me sailing in sailing out oh that's it and just swanning around but mm. that that's another sling smug moment i was trying to start that as a hashtag uh sling smug um but yeah right we've had a couple more questions um so vicky has asked are you going to be tandem carrying me or lizanne or well both? i am yeah but i think everyone would probably guess that i would be tandem carrying yeah um but will you be yeah yeah Why not? you'll do both why not Wicked. Well, so watch out for Neil's tandem carrying video. You want it coming for soon. <laughs> you want it for your Instagram. I know that much. Yeah. So it'll be. Um, oh, see, Lottie's doing the hashtag. She knows. Um, so yeah, you can totally tandem carry newborn and toddler at the same time. Um, the Twingo, even it's not just for twins. It can do a newborn and a toddler at the same time as well. So it's handy for that. Um, but you can combine any carriers at all. Um, you'll probably favour combining two um, cross-strap buckle carriers like Connector, Integra, Nova. Um, he'll probably favour doing that, but I can already see myself um, having like the woven on the front and then chucking Dexter up in an onbu or in another woven. The double woven carries you can do are quite amazing. Um, so that will be really fun. I'm looking forward to tandem carrying actually because suddenly a whole new world of baby wearing opens because yes there's more and I haven't done it all yet 
Um, you have to borrow some of it if you want triplet carrying. Yes. I'm not yeah, yeah. Notes. Yeah, no, that's fine. You that's can wear two babies and carry a doll with you. And be that person, although everyone always thinks I'm pretty mad anyway, but yeah. Um, okay, so before we say goodbye, that's do right. we have any more questions? Uh, Liam's really active, so I'd love him to use them more, but I think he worries about what he can and cannot do. Oh yeah, question before, are there any limitations to carrying? Um, I mean, uh, oh Lottie, can you carry tandem with one woven? Yes, you can. You absolutely can tandem with one woven. Um, and I will be doing some stuff on that once Trixie's here as well, if Dexter will let me make videos, because he's not letting me make videos with him at the moment. Um, so limitations, basically when it comes to what you can and can't do with a baby in a carrier, a very simple rule as to whether or not it's a good idea is, would you do it with the baby in your arms? So I have actually been asked on more than one occasion, which carrier can I use to ride my bike with? Um, and again, I refer them to, would you ride your bike with your child in your arms? Thankfully, so far, everyone has said no, in which case you say, well, in that case, a carrier isn't suitable. Um, and they're definitely not suitable for riding bikes. Um, similar as how I have had someone ask, which carrier can they wear in the car? Um, and I've often lamented when Dexter's nicely asleep in the carrier, like, oh, if only I could just drive home with him in this so I don't have to disturb him. But it's not safe. I wouldn't drive a car with my child in my arms, so I'm not going to do it with a carrier on, okay? Um, similar things, you wouldn't swim with a child in your arms, you wouldn't full on swim, uh, you wouldn't surf, ski, things like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, you can't go running, can you? That's, uh, you can't, no, you can't run, again. Too bouncy it's too bouncy for them, no matter how old they are, like even Dexter at two, although why would you want to run with a two stone child strapped to you, I don't know. Um, but it's the, the impact is definitely too much. So one limitation is, if you're, would you do it with them in your arms? Um, that's always a good question to ask yourself. Um, and then the second one is uh, the level of impact. Um, so something like a gentle aerobics class, specially designed, looking at you, baby wear aerobics, um, would be perfect to do. A good walk, a nice brisk walk would be fine, but anything above that in terms of the level of impact will be way too much for any child because they can't brace themselves. No matter how old they are, they can't brace themselves. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, lovely point from Carissa there. I've tandem the girls. Someone says you've got your hands full. Actually, her hands were free. That's the key thing. You've got one on your front, one on your back. Both your hands free, so you're sorted. Um, but yeah. Sort of feeding snacks, one over, one under. Pretty much, pretty the, much. The, the shoulder snack, like this, and then you feel this little grabby hand come out. Oh, there and we go. And take the snack, exactly, yeah. Um, okay, so we are at time. We're slightly over, in fact. So, Neil, did you have... Any la Oh, I want to grab something quickly. So, um, did you have any lasting comments or anything to say while to, I quickly go and grab this book? To Dad, do it. Seriously, it's it's. Uh, say so you waste. Yeah, it's not bad that you don't do it, but it's so. It sort of connects you to your child in a way that that is, and and it makes it more. They they generally say that if you something that's convenient for parents is generally not best for a child with baby wearing it's that's not it at all because baby gets baby wants to be carried it wants to be close to you it wants the it wants to be up and it you know it needs and why would you not make that job easy for yourself so you can sort of be a parent and sort of go about your day-to-day -day lives it's I, I, w I wouldn't imagine being a parent without it really it's mm. that's the thing now it's it just it just seems weird that people don't so. I, I literally don't know how people would get things done without carriers. I can't imagine not having one, but yeah. Yeah, no, especially like especially <clears throat> for football. Like, it, I guess you know, dad's football, lad's it's just banter, everything. and all that. It's just like taking him, taking Dexter to the football. It's just something that was really special to me. Especially, I think his first match, he was just five like months, five months, six months old, and he spent most of the time in the carrier. But the fact slept I slept through the it, second half, slept through the second half. It's all right. We the goals were in the first half, but um. Yeah, just, you can't imagine, do, do, me doing that with my son was really important to me as a dad because I like football, I wanted to share my interest with my son and now he's as football mad as I am. So, um, mm. 
And he is quite obsessed. I wouldn't have been able to take him to games if I haven't been able to carry him. So it's just yeah. l- 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 things like that, especially um, with Joe and Liam taking him to car shows and stuff. Logan is able to sort of see at dad's eye level the cars. That's amazing. It gives you that extra connection. Um, right, so what I ran off to grab quickly was this fabulous book um, published by Jess. And it's in reverse, which R- is really annoying. R- 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 it's called Why Dad's Baby Wear, 100 Reasons from Dad. So this is also an Instagram account and it's a Facebook group. Um, and it's basically um, just a collection of pictures of dads uh, you just pick the two wearing... that i said gaming and yeah. going places so football just opened video it games away. um but it's just pictures of dads wearing their babies with their reasons as to why they do it so if you're looking for reasons to get your other half baby wearing check out this account okay it's um run by jess williamson who's in new zealand um of baby wearing with jess um she's amazing um and she put together this book, so I did get it shipped over from New Zealand. It's not available in this country. It's always available at drop-ins if you want to have a flick through. Um, but you can also check out the Instagram account and the Facebook group um, and start tagging your other half in stuff to get them thinking, actually, this is something that I should be doing. I'll tell you what as well, you get um, loads and loads of positive attention from strangers. It, it sounds weird, but it, you seriously, the amount of sort of positive looks you get, especially from... Um, mm. sort of doting sort of people going you know they just think it's the cutest thing ever and you kind of feel like the best dad you really. are the best dad well no uh, ev- everyone's dad you. everyone's dad is the best everyone's dad. dad is the best dad this is true but it's just but, for, yeah. If, yeah especially the whole skin contact thing especially if it's a breastfeeding mother then, oh yeah yeah you know, yeah the fact you're sitting there cuddled up breastfeeding that doesn't happen as a dad but you can kind of get your own little you bit can of replicate oxytocin, it yeah and then yeah that that was that was a big thing for me when he was just, when he was little. Fab. Um, I agree with Craig. Yeah. Hi, Craig. Um, cool. So thank you very much, darling, um, for coming on and being a guest tonight. Um, this will be available on YouTube. Oh, the competition! I nearly completely forgot about the competition, which is what I was tantalising you all with. Um, so um, so far this week, Neil and I have been designing a dad baby wearing T-shirt with the lovely Sam of uh, Geeky Baby um, and I, as well as getting one for Neil and him becoming our official model um, we're also going to be giving one away so watch out tomorrow for our post um, no Friday it's launching Sorry, this, this... so Friday it is launching so watch out Friday for our competition post um, so that you can win your other half uh, one of the very very first Dad's baby wearing T-shirts. So um, all the reasons I've given are now overridden by this guy. Because it was what? good enough for Luke Skywalker and Yoda, it's good enough for me. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, there you yeah, go. There we go. That's it. So all my yeah. reasons pale in comparison to that. Done. Um, so yes. Yeah, so there'll be Father's Day competition um, where we're giving away one of our brand new exclusive bits of merch, which is a Dad baby wearing T-shirt. Um, and Neil has been helping with on, on the design, so it will actually be something that blokes would wear. Um, so hopefully you all like it too um, but yeah so thank you again darling um, and we will see you all soon possibly with a newborn um, but yeah Pretty cool scary. thanks Pretty everyone scary. bye